are back. I'm so excited for this next interview. Anytime we're talking about TNT talent abroad, I get excited, Carrie. Okay. Yeah, I know you do. I can I, see it. I do. <laughs> and trending on social media right now is the cover of Times Magazine, where art from Trinidad and Tobago, talent abroad, activist artist Nika Jones was featured. And we do have Nika joining us via Zoom from the U.S., and she's going to talk about this opportunity. Congratulations, Nika. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much. Listen, I'm so excited. I am so, so excited for you. How excited are you for this opportunity? Extremely, extremely excited and extremely proud. I actually wore red today just to <laughs> represent Trinidad and Tobago. It's, I'm, feeling, <laughs> I'm feeding it off of you. So how did this happen? How did this connection come about? So a couple of months ago, the Time Magazine's art director, Victor Williams, reached out to me via email, which I was in total disbelief of. He actually noted that he had seen my work uh, circulating on Instagram via my George Floyd video that I made with right. regards to the death of George Floyd due to police brutality. Right. And so he actually wanted me to work with time just because of my activist work as an artist and they specifically wanted to use that for one of the issues that they had planned to produce all right so i'm going to stop you now because we do have that video uh that you're speaking about we're going to take a look at it and come back and have a chat with you Wow, Nika, that was something else. Really was. That was. Thank you. Thank everyone you. in studio was just going like, wow. And the one, I also saw a video where you actually had um, some words of, you know, activism in between the video as well. I think um, you also had, you created a video from the one that we saw because you, you know, you wanted to, to bring light to the George Floyd situation, right? So yeah. Time saw this video is what you were saying, and this is what caused them to connect with you? Yes, so Victor actually saw this video and he emailed me with regards to a potential collaboration with Time. And this is actually the second time that he's reaching out to me. The first time was with, with regards to George Floyd and for an issue that they wanted to produce about two months ago. Yes. And the second time for Time Magazine, was about a week ago actually and this one was specifically for a cover issue so you so were in the magazine before i i was not so actually it was intended for me to be in the in the magazine but they chose someone else right who okay. had amazing work and fit that that profile at the time right and so victor had reassured me that he was going to get me in the magazine he knew that my work had potential and it was something that Time Magazine wanted to have either mm -hmm. as their cover or within the magazine. Wow. And so mm -hmm. 
it, it was something that was just meant to be, I guess. <laughs> it's Listen, I can't explain what that would mean to me, but I also can't uh, begin to fathom what it would mean to you. What has the feedback been like so far? Insane. Uh, I have people from all over the world actually contacting me just to say how proud they are of me and that I actually have paved the road for a lot of people in the arts because they believe that they now can have a sustainable career with the arts and achieve yeah. greatness yeah. and have their work seen on a global scale. So mm -hmm. I'm extremely proud, not only just to be a Trinidadian, but as an artist in general, and yeah. of course, as a black woman. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So um, we're going to talk a bit about you in a bit, but tell us what was the inspiration behind the work, the piece that you did for the cover? So the piece is symbolic of optimism and an intention of a future that's shifting towards more so equality with regards to elevating black leaders and black exemplifiers and reshaping and remolding the America that was present before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the history of America to reflect one that is beautiful and bright where everyone is equal and everyone has equal opportunities to rise towards the top as a leader yeah. and participate and contribute to the community and society in a way that is positive. And I read that the medium included embroidery. Yes, so the entire piece is actually hand embroidered. Mm -hmm. I was able to complete it in 24 hours. <laughs> Not that I had a choice in terms of the hours that I put into the piece, just yeah. because we finalized everything at literally the last minute. And all yeah. that was left was 24 hours for me to complete the piece. Oh, wow. Was, so, this, was this the fastest you've ever done a piece of work like that? Yes. Do you use, yes. <laughs> Well, I yes, imagine. it takes me either a month yeah. to the, the least would be a week to complete the piece. So it so would have been adrenaline ready. and excitement, I'd imagine, and zero sleep. Zero <laughs> sleep, that. adrenaline, excitement, bruised fingers, sweat, tears, <laughs> but it's all with it. I can imagine. So tell us, let's backtrack now. Tell us a bit about yourself. Who is Nika Jones? Where did you go to school here? And how did you start in art? Of course. So I originally went to school at Newton Girls RC for primary school and graduated and attended Bishop Ansi High School, Port of Spain. And that's where I think my art career really started to solidify in mm -hmm. terms of me being able to have my work being exhibited in different places within Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. And also being recognized on a national and regional scale because I won a couple of awards in terms of placing first on the merit list and winning the best visual arts award in the Caribbean. Nice. So that kind of really jump started my career and allowed me to understand that this was something that I wanted to pursue in the future and continue working towards that. And why do you call yourself an activist artist? I believe that my artwork in particular is not just any artwork that you would produce and hang on the wall just for aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Not that anything is wrong with that, but the purpose of me making my artwork and the intent is for the viewer to have some kind of emotion evoked or for them to have some kind of response and want to communicate with other people about it, especially in terms of bringing awareness to issues that relate to social injustices or political injustices in yeah. general. Yeah. And where did that come from, that uh, awareness for social responsibility and activism? I believe that it's basically everything that I'm surrounded by, my environment. So while I was in Trinidad, although I enjoyed my time there, there were a lot of things that existed that, of course, was not right in society. And of course, moving to America, it's the same thing mm -hmm. in relation to the Black Lives Matter protests and police brutality, racism, colorism, etc. Yeah. So just being surrounded by that kind of influenced me to make a statement that says this is something that should not be happening and bring awareness to it, mm -hmm. but bring awareness to it in a way that people aren't accustomed to just because these are very uncomfortable conversations for people to have. Yes. By seeing artwork, it's, it's just more natural in terms of allowing you to have that conversation in a different way setting. And Nika, you're just 23 years of age. 
So where does this take you now? What's next for you uh, following the cover? Can you imagine the cover of Time magazine? What's next? Right. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm really hoping for a solo show. Mm -hmm. And honestly, just to continue making art, that's what I've always done. And it's, it's brought me this far. So I think once I continue being consistent and really working towards my goals, I should be able to achieve yeah. a solo show, different gallery shows, and become a renowned international artist. Well, you're already international. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, who would have been your inspiration? Anyone who inspired you along your journey that you want to recognize at this time? I would definitely say my art professors and art teachers have played a large role in my success thus far. So I would like to shout out my high school art teachers, actually. Yes. Uh, Lisa Hutchinson and Leona Fabian. Right. Lovely. Yes. The born and bred right here in Trinidad and Tobago, Nika Jones. It was so wonderful chatting with you this morning, a leader of now. And with all that potential for the future, we just keep our eyes on you, Nika. Thank you. And thank you for having me, Lisa. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful there. Uh, so you continue to be safe and we'll be monitoring your work and all success. want to shout out your Auntie Corinne, who I know is watching right now. And your entire family is totally excited at this yeah. time. Keep good, Nika.